Hey guys. So this clip's all about getting the most out of your play. Um, most spies would decloak behind the medic and just go for the pick, which wouldn't be a bad play, but we can actually do more if we decloak under here, set the sentry and then get rid of the heavy. Now that he's gone, I'm free to just shoot the medic to death. Um, this achieves more than it would have if I just decloaked and went to backstab the medic. Uh, I got the heavy, I got the medic, and in turn I get the sentry because there's no one left to protect it, so the NG has to move it out. Correct decision making takes time, but as a guideline, always think about what will help your team the most. Even though trick stabs are desperation moves, they can be used aggressively in certain situations. Uh, I trick stab a heavy here by quickly strafing to the right when he's approaching me, and then going to the left just as he's uh, revving up his gun. Uh, speed is really key. Also, try to be as unpredictable as you can. If they don't know you're attempting a stab on them, then there's no way that they can consciously avoid it in time. Spy isn't just about going for knife kills, as I've said a lot of times. Uh, you know, the ambassador is such a versatile tool that whenever someone on the enemy team's under 102, uh, it can be a great way to net some easy kills that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise or would have had to risk yourself dying for. But in this clip, I just want to show how much of a distraction I can be with the ambassador, Spy School, and Dead Ringer. It's really hard for them to kill me, and I can come down during the middle of a push where they're too occupied to deal with me. I can do things like deal an extra bit of damage to a burning med so a pyro kills him. And I'm just going back to the same spot, I'm just annoying them back here. There's nothing that they can really do about it, it's really hard for them to deal with me. I had four people looking at me then, they've even sent an NG up to deal with me. <laughs> um, but he can't kill me, because I have a dead ringer. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing it, because they can't counter it really. Um, they even sent a scout back to deal with me, uh, which kind of surprised me. But that's gap time they're not getting. Uh, so you can abuse that even more. And now that I'm deep in with a Bort Fane, I get a nice little jump drop on the med. Uh, never underestimate the sheer value of just staying alive. Uh, now this map is a CP Gravel Pit. We're playing against Chest Club, the top contenders in Prem right now. Uh, I get a nice stab on the heavy there. and just barely live thanks to backing away from that rocket and Captain and Candle interfering. I live to fight another day. Gravel Pit's a really great spy map in my opinion. It's a map that rewards patience. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, Carl, patience? What are you on about? But uh, this is a map where I really love being patient on. It's all about letting your team know where they're pushing from so that they can react. And um, just taking advantage of the situation whenever you can. Uh, like here, my scout is distracting for me while I'm in a great blind spot that's not checked very often and it nets me two very great kills because of it which shuts down the push entirely <laughs> and then I go on to uh, clean up Quintush and Banana Man. Uh, patience is very rewarding sometimes um, but Gravel Pit is a map which can allow play like that due to how open it is uh, but Bad Water I think it's really hard to play like that it's so narrow and easy to get caught out that I prefer to be active in the defense, getting in people's faces, even if it's uh, abusing unlocks like the Ambassador and Deadringer. Um, but maintaining flanks, really useful, besides just coming. Yeah, that coming's always useful. And we're just gonna test the boundaries here, see how aggressive we can actually get. But uh, if you're good enough, the Ambassador can really help you out of a tight spot in more than one instance. Uh, against this scout, I probably wouldn't have had a chance had I not landed that first headshot on him. But uh, if you practice often and keep at it, you might be able to do something crazy once in a while. Happy holidays, guys. I'll see you in the new year.